Hi everyone, this is Dr. Amir Gordy from Team Meritors, and I'll be sharing with you some motivating stories from our students who've scored really well in their exams, and we'll be finding out the secrets to success. And today we have with us Dr. Ruchika Sharma from Jaipur, who has secured a 65th rank and 672 in her recent NEET MDS 2024, and she's here to share her inspiring success story with us. And let's get it started. Dr. Ruchika, over to you. Please tell us about yourself. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Dr. Ruchika Sharma. I uh, graduated uh, from Government Dental College, Jaipur, in uh, last year, 2023. And uh, uh, I attempted uh, NEET MDS 2023 last year. And uh, my score then was uh, uh, 615 and with the 530 rank. And then I decided to give it one more chance. And... Uh, this year, uh, I got 65th rank. So that's amazing. So you've taken NEED before uh, last year. And uh, so last year, I believe the scores were, it was it was an easier exam and people scored more for the same rank compared to this year. But uh, what exactly uh, were the struggles that you faced last year? So you were an intern when you started preparing for this. Yes. Right. Yes. And how, how did that preparation go and how did it take up eventually? Okay, uh, I, I uh, decided to uh, give NEET MDS uh, in uh, when my internship actually started. So uh, first I just joined uh, coaching and then I made uh, notes basically. I think that was my foundation and it, it still is. And uh, your handwritten notes are the most important thing, I believe. And uh, then uh, when uh, in, I guess, November 2022, I joined Meritors for uh, additional test series mm -hmm. and uh, I, I believe uh, the when you are preparing for a competitive exam and you are uh, also going for clinical postings it's, it becomes really difficult to manage everything and time management gets really tricky so I guess that was uh, um, that was the reason uh, that I didn't get a good rank last year and uh, then I took one year for myself and I analyzed what was wrong and how I can improve myself. And uh, the next year, I I implied implied very uh, different different strategies. I made uh, I made uh, a notebook in which I used to uh, change my strategy according to uh, what what were my weak points and what can be changed. So yeah. So what what strategies? Like give us some example. So uh, I wanted. Uh, it to be concise so that I can revise it multiple times because I believe that uh, revision is the most important thing. If you have if you have a, a very vast syllabus, then uh, make it make it uh, make it something like that. Ki, uh, you can revise it multiple times. So um, I decided uh, to join Meritors and uh, then I realized that uh, their question bank, Meritors question bank is really, really vast and uh, everything that you can um, get from different uh, platforms it's all there uh -huh. so um, i started uh, with the question bank and then i started uh, bookmarking every doubt that i had and uh, then when i used to revise i only did the bookmark questions so it reduced my time uh, that was uh, consuming me in the revision uh -huh. and uh, second thing i used was uh, to decrease my negatives in the mock test uh, I used to uh, note down uh, every question that I had doubt in mock test and I made a separate notebook in which I, I wrote down everything and every every next mock that I did, I used to revise all those questions that I had doubt in previous mock mocks. Uh, then another thing that I did was uh, using flashcards for active revision. Oh. So I came across this strategy, uh, it's called active revision. So most people, what they do when they are revising, I used to do this too, uh, that uh, when you are revising, you open your notes and then you start passively reading those. Oh. So uh, your mind is not engaging itself because anything that you want to remember, it's already there. You just revise reading it. So I made flashcards and uh, that really helped me actually uh, in the last two, three months, I, I used to revise only flashcards and bookmark questions. Amazing. So we have three strategies that you uh, particularly mentioned. The first strategy was to taper down your preparation to the revision phase so that you can have 
uh, a good a filtered out content that you really want to read towards the end of your preparation and you should start focusing on that right from the beginning so that you know you don't have to run around at the last minute the second was to take mocks and focus on the negative marking and get a hands on experience of the exam so that you can have a constant practice of what is to be expected and third is using active revision techniques like flashcards because they are visually very important and they are important towards the last part of your preparation very good three important strategies and I, no doubt that it worked for you because these are like the ideal uh, uh you know recipes for success in a competitive exam so uh let's talk of tapering down our preparation the first point that you mentioned and bookmarking questions now uh you've used qbank and i'm sure you've seen a lot of content what kind of questions are usually the ones that you bookmark like was there a lot of factual questions was there a lot of concepts that you wanted to revise what kind of content required more revision as compared to the other i think both were there uh, the factual questions that uh, you that some some dental material and their con uh, their constituents that you for some reason you can't remember Correct. so i used to, i used to bookmark those and then there were uh, some conceptual questions uh, clinical based questions so um, i realized that uh, when you are solving any questions your your brain goes to a certain direction and you think like that every time many times it happens to, happened to me that uh, same questions I, I I used to mark wrong mm -hmm. and then then I wanted to change my thinking. So um, those questions were also there and then I I used to make my own mnemonics to change my thinking also. Correct. So both were there actually. Yeah. Right. So that is a very big challenge actually because once you start thinking in a specific way, it is difficult to unlearn that and then relearn the right thing and you require, uh, you know, proper understanding in depth of that uh, topic right then second thing you mentioned was taking mock exams and understanding negative marking now a lot of students face this problem where negative marks is their major concern especially because they want to attempt more number of questions they take a lot of random guesses so do you have any tricks for eliminating options or ne reducing negative marking did you have any strategy and first of all how many questions in the exam uh, did you attempt do you have the number yeah, I did uh, 223. 223. And how many would you say were guesses and how many were you more or less confident okay. about? Uh, when I used to do the mocks, I, I used this strategy. So I used to take a paper mm -hmm. and I used to divide it in three uh, sections. Mm -hmm. One that I'm really sure ki these are right. Mm -hmm. Then second one was, were those uh, in which I had doubt, any mm -hmm. kind of doubt in, mm -hmm. in two options or whatever. And third one were that I used to skip. Oh. So um, uh, I, in the end of the in in the end months, I tried to uh, reduce down the doubt ones that mm -hmm. I am guessing. Mm -hmm. So in uh, in my exam main exam, I did a forty around forty questions. I was thinking that um, these could get wrong. Mm -hmm. That absolutely these could, can get wrong, and still mm -hmm. I would get a good decent marks. Mm -hmm. So. Start with that. I think uh, uh, there are there will be always be questions in which you have to guess because you have to attempt uh, more. So mm. try to slowly try to reduce down those questions and uh, write write those concepts or those facts that you are uh, keep forgetting and you have to guess. Right. These so that practice would come with mock, and that is exactly why we encourage uh, taking mock so much and very uh, well said that you need to focus the areas or the questions that you specifically don't know filter them out and the ones which are in the gray area that are like 50 50 year in there focus on those so that you can take it towards uh, the more positive part of yeah. your uh, answering right so did the uh, now this is exactly what we use for ai recommendations when when we give it to you after mock exam, we find where are your gray areas and where are you lacking that specific foundational knowledge? Then we tell you exactly what to focus on. Were you able to use these uh, methods? Yes, Did you the, take advantage of it? Yeah, the analysis option of the mock test that the meritors had, I think it was really, uh, really good to improve yourself because uh, you don't have to go through every question because there is there, there is this 
percentage showing that uh, you have attempted this and uh, you have wrong wrong in these concepts you have wrong questions in these concepts and then uh, there were recommendation mails also it was really mm -hmm. helpful to uh, channelize your energy in the, into the right direction right so how exactly did you uh, strategize your uh, preparation from each mock like sometimes the mocks are very different we specifically put in difficult questions and we you know give you different content from q bank you had your foundation from the q bank but every time a lot of new questions must have come up in the mocks so what was your approach to these new concepts and difficult concepts especially so uh, this was uh, really interesting to me actually i i used to get frustrated when uh, any new question used to come but uh, i think this is important to uh, uh, to to basically uh, increase your fundamental knowledge mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so i used to go through explanation and any related bites or lectures that were there in the app and they were really explanatory and helpful so i used to write them down and uh, i i used to actually increase my notes uh, in that way that uh -huh. that, that becomes a concise portion so uh, i can revise it timely so uh, that was my strategy actually like, right right nothing works <laughs> nothing works as good as your own notes and especially if you have the skill to make a flash card out of it and make mnemonics best even i do that for all my preparations but yes that is uh, more or less that all students should follow because it is the right way to approach uh, your exam and to have a feedback constantly going in the background as to what you've done correct versus what could have been done better and how to improvise is the key so what what happens ahead from here are you waiting for uh, a specific seat somewhere or are you just keeping your options open do you have things in mind for your future prospects uh actually i want uh, prosto in uh, uh, mds and uh, so i'm i'm uh, i'm hoping that i get a good college and with prosto seat so let's i'm just waiting for counseling actually right now why prosto why prosto? prosto because in my clinical postings um, every department i used to go I, i i wasn't interested very much actually it it depends on environment also uh, yeah. there were there were um, elderly patient the patients that i delivered dentures to and they were really friendly to me and they they used to give blessings so it was it was really good and i i understand prosto really well compared to other subjects okay, yeah it's it's a rewarding profession of course you are restoring everyone's <laughs> health and smile so no doubt it's a very good field uh, Thank you so much, Ruchika, for meeting with us today, and we wish you all the best for all the future endeavors. Do keep us informed about all your uh, success ahead, and we are looking forward to seeing you fly high. Thank you again for meeting with us today, and good luck. If you found this video useful and inspiring, make sure you give us a like. Don't forget to follow and subscribe for more such content. And if you have not downloaded the Meritus app, You can find the link in the comments in the captions below. So download now and start your preparation right away.